Hi boys and girls, how are you this week? I hope you are doing well. Mm -hmm. Hi boys and girls. Yeah, boys and girls, it's so good to be back. <laughs> and uh, we have been looking at the calling of the disciples. But we only looked at how many all together? Mm, Andrew, six. Simon, James, John, um, Philip, Nathaniel, and Matthew, oh, seven. Seven? Yes. Oh, seven, yes. We've looked at seven mm -hmm. disciples. Boys and girls, can you count up to seven? I know you can. Let's count. One, One two, two, three, three four, four, five, six, seven. But you know what, boys and girls? The Lord had 12 apostles or disciples, special disciples whom he called apostles and would like to read about them today. But before we do that, Auntie Lulu, please pray for us. Okay, shall we pray? Jesus loves me. I love Jesus. Our oh, dear, kind and heavenly Father, we thank you for this day that you've given unto us and for the gift of life. We're thankful yet, a day, or yet again for allowing us to meet in such a manner and sit around your word and learn the lessons that have been set before us. Mm -hmm. Even now, as we shall learn from Auntie Anne, we'd like to ask that you might grant her the wisdom and that we might have gladness of heart and be zealous to learn more about you and to be followers, true followers of you, O oh Lord God. Mm -hmm. We'd like to ask that you might help us concentrate, help us not be distracted, but to pay attention to what you have prepared for us. For it is in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, boys and girls, as I said, we've looked at seven disciples. Can we name them in the order in which we saw them? Andrew, Simon, James, John, Philip, Nathaniel, and Matthew. Matthew. So the seven are named there. But the others also, we will read now and I'll ask Auntie Lulu just to read for us um, in Luke chapter uh, 6. Yes. It should be Luke chapter 6. And we're going to read from verse 13 um, down, Twelve. down, down, down up to um, 16. Okay, mm -hmm. so 13 to 16, three verses. Or 12? Oh, yeah, 12. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, reading yeah, from verse 12. 12. Mm -hmm. Now it came to pass in those days that he went out to the mountain to pray and continued all night in prayer to God. And when it was day, he called his disciples to himself. And from them he chose 12 whom he also named apostles. Simon, who he also named Peter, and Andrew, his brother, James and John, Philip and Bartholomew, Matthew and Thomas, James the son of Alphaeus, and Simon called the Zealot, Judas the son of James, and Judas Iscariot, who also became a traitor. Boys and girls, this is very, very important, all right? And we will come to the lessons, but before that, let's sing a song. The song will be screened, and I'd like you to follow and learn. It's a beautiful hymn, Savior, Like a Shepherd, Lead Us. Okay, that is a prayer. So let us sing this song together. Savior, like a shepherd, lead us. Much we need thy tenderest care From thy pleasant pastures feed us For our use thy faults prepare Blessed Jesus, blessed Jesus Thou hast bought us Let us 
seek thy savor. Early let us do thy will. Blessed Lord, our only Savior, with thyself our bosoms fill. Thou hast loved us, thou hast loved us. Blessed Jesus, love us still. Thou hast loved us, thou hast loved us. Blessed Jesus, love us still. Well, boys and girls, like I said, that is a prayer that Christ, Jesus, would lead us. Even as he chooses us to do various things that he would lead us. Mm -hmm. In our passage, boys and girls, we notice um, something very important about the Lord Jesus Christ. What was he doing? What did he do? What are we told? We're told that he went out to the mountain to pray. Yes, boys and girls, he went to the mountain to pray. In other words, he went to a solitude place, a place where he could be alone, where he could pray. And after he had prayed all night, we are told, he prayed all night. He continued all night in prayer to God. Then the, when the day had come, he called his disciples. Now these were not just the 12 disciples, boys and girls, no, no. He called all his disciples, everyone who was following him. Nathaniel, all the people he had met before, all those who started following him, even those we don't know their names, everyone. Those sinners, you know, the tax collector fr friends, for Matthew, whoever had come to know Jesus and believe in him, all the people who were following him, who believed in him, he called them. So he called his followers. And then from there, boys and girls, we are told he chose 12. How many did he choose? 12. So of all his disciples, of all the people who were following, he chose 12 and he named them as apostles, anointed ones, those whom he had chosen directly. He called them and said, you, 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 you will be with me. You will learn from me. And then those were going to go and teach other people what Jesus was saying. They were his special friends, so to say. How many of you have BFFs? You've heard the term BFF? What does BFF mean? Best friend forever. Best friend forever. So you say, this is my BFF. We are best friends forever. Okay? You have BFFs, you have BFFs, best friends, and the BFF, best friend forever. That, boys and girls, is what Jesus did. He called those who would be his best friends, those who would be with him all the time. They would go around with him. He would sit with them privately, teach them, talk to them, and, and all that. And these are the names of the apostles, boys and girls, that he called. We are told that he called Simon. Simon, whom he also named Peter. Okay? Mm -hmm. So we're told that he, he called Simon, number one. And then he called Andrew, his brother. James and John. Philip and Bartholomew. Matthew and Thomas. James, the son of Altheus, and Simon, 
also called the Zealot. Judas, the son of James, and Judas Ascariot, who became his traitor. So we see here there were two Simons and there were two Judases. We have Simon called the Zealot and Simon Peter. Mm -hmm. We also have Judas, the son of James, and Judas Escairot, who betrayed him. Okay, so they were 12 disciples in all. But what happened to Nathaniel? Well, what happened to Nathaniel? Well, Nathaniel is the same as Bartholomew. Bartholomew is like a family name. So it's just like Simon. And then later on, he was called Peter. Peter. So we have Simon, Peter. And these were the sons of Jonah, isn't it? Because we're told that Simon, son of Jonah. Jonah, yes. Yes. And just like here, when you read this, you're told, oh, there was James, the son of Alphaeus. And we know the other James was the son of Zebedee. Zebedee. So some of these, um, the names might change when you read other passages of scripture, but they are talking about the same disciples. Okay. So that is Bartholomew or Nathaniel. Okay. Yes. So they did follow Jesus and Jesus chose them. Okay. Jesus chose them to follow him. Twelve disciples. And we ask the question, what have you done about Jesus? Are you following Jesus? Are you somewhere listening for your name? Have you heard your name being called? Here Jesus called them and he chose for himself 12 disciples. Mm -hmm. And it came down and he came down with them and stood on the level place with the crowd okay and his uh, of his disciples and a great multitude of people from all Judea and Jerusalem and from the sea coast of Tyre and Sidon who came to hear him and be healed of their diseases so Jesus chooses and that's very important boys and girls Jesus even today chooses those who should follow him have you been chosen if you answer God's call, then Jesus has chosen you. If you hear him calling you, do not ignore his call or his voice. Answer and follow him. And here, it's very interesting that among the 12 disciples, one betray him. Though he was called by Jesus, inwardly he was not changed at all. He was still a sinner and he committed the greatest crime ever by betraying the Lord Jesus Christ. So boys and girls, ask yourself, are you ready to follow Jesus? Has he called you? Has he chosen you? All right, ask yourself, has he chosen you? Do you hear him calling you to repentance and to follow him? We'll see later on what these disciples did who followed Jesus. Okay, but for today, boys and girls, let's remember last week's memory verse. What did we say last week? Now it, we are getting um, somewhere. What did we say last week? What was our memory verse? Matthew chapter 28, verse 19 and 20. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Amen. Amen. So boys and girls, let's remember that memory verse. Jesus chose. Among all his disciples, he chose his BFFs, who would be his best friends forever in his ministry and walk with him. Twelve disciples in all.
whom he called apostles. Okay? So that's very, very important. And Jesus is still choosing. His, he has already chosen and he's calling his disciples even today. So this is all we had for today, boys and girls. We shall say bye. bye.